What's going on everybody? Welcome to the Stein. Today we're heading over to California. Not actually, we'll be staying in my basement. But, the brewing company is in California. Of course I'm talking about the Ballast Point Brewing Company. And we're going to be looking at their Indra Conindra, which is a limited release. So, watch the episode and then go buy the beer. We're checking out the Ballast Point Brewing Company's Indra Conindra. It's a limited release from the San Diego based brewing company. It's an Indian style export stout, so you're going to want to serve it in a tulip, uh, a nonic pint glass, or a sniffer, depending on your, uh, your choice more or less. I opted for the tulip to play it safe uh, because I wasn't sure what the beer smells like or how it holds up uh, in particular glasses. Uh, this beer is 7% alcohol by volume. Uh, you're going to want to serve between 55 and 57 degrees. She pours like an oily brown color, um, really, really rich and heavy looking. As it fills the glass, the glass becomes pitch black and it leaves this really dark brown uh, head that is fairly thick, at, le at least two finger widths. I uh, probably could have spiked the three if I had uh, poured a little more aggressively. And it's got some, some khaki color to it, but overall it's got this really nice like amberish brown color. Um, the head settles fairly quickly and leaves some lacing on the glass and a really light lacing over the top of the beer. All right, this beer is like nothing I've smelled before. Um, it's kind of peppery. Uh, peppery, it's got some really nice spiciness to it. Uh, there's like a hint of nutmeg, maybe clove in there. Um, it's got kind of like a curry smell as well. Reminds me of like a, a chicken curry. Um, but there's also a hint of vanilla and, a, and um, there's some coconut in there which could be contributing to the curry type smell. Overall, there's a lot of really, really robust, strong smells coming off this beer. So this beer is particularly spicy. Um, it's not a burn as if like you're sucking down buffalo wings or something along those lines. It's a burn as if like you had a jalapeno and you wiped it on something and then took a bite of whatever you wiped it on. It's a heat that's there and it lingers but it's not full force in your face like your mouth is on fire. Um, it sits kind of in the back of your throat and a little on your esophagus. You can really feel it. It fills the mouth uh, fairly nicely. There's a coconut and a vanilla flavor that go along with that spicy flavor. So it's really nice. You're getting this like calm, cool type approach, like a really smooth, delicate flavor um, from vanilla and coconut. And then on the other side, you have this really abrasive, uh, spicy, um, not so much bitter, but spicy and hot type flavor that's just really filling your mouth. It's a really nice jump back and forth, very Jekyll and Hyde. Drinkability on the beer is definitely there. It's a limited edition, you're gonna wanna try it because you just don't know when it comes around you might miss your chance. Maybe they're just like, we don't wanna make this anymore because we don't want to. That's the end of it. You'll never have gotten to try this and this beer is awesome how it jumps back and forth between <clears throat> sweet and savory and spicy and abrasive at the same time. The mouth feels really nice. It's not bitter, it's just spicy. Um, they, they suggest pairing it with like Kobe ribs or like coconut macaroons, which I could totally see because a coconut macaroon is only gonna amplify that coconut vanilla flavor that's in the beer and then you're gonna wash it down and get that spiciness, that cloviness, that nutmegginess that's gonna just push that coconut macaroon down into your stomach to be digested. So that's gonna wrap it up for the Ballast Point Brewing Company's Indra Conindra. An absolutely like, awe-inspiring beer. Caught me totally off guard, did not know what to expect from this. Saw it on the shelf and was like, limited edition, gotta buy it. Was not disappointed. Great flavors, unique experience. Get out there, try this beer. There's an octopus on the front, I like octopuses. That was kind of the selling point for me, really. I dropped some links in the description below. Check me out on Facebook and on Twitter. Like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what beers or brewing companies you think I should check out on the Stein. And until next time, be safe, drink responsibly, and cheers.